I'm not gonna lie guys, I have been incredibly, incredibly, incredibly distracted today. Incredibly distracted. And look, I'm not sure if it's a jet lag or if it's a heat, because it is pretty hot here in Europe right now. Days are at least 30 degrees. And the thing is like, there's not much air conditioning. So with no AC, you're feeling pretty humid and it can, it can get to you. And it seems this heat's having an effect on everyone. Look, people losing their scooters out here. You got cats that are missing, probably dying of heat stroke. And I hope they find this cat. I hope they find it. So with the heat and speed's humor and no football on right now, it's got everyone tripping, man. Everyone's tripping, including me. There's only one way to solve this. Only one way. I gotta splash myself with some water. Whew, cool myself down. And... Yep, it's one of these ones again. It is the sweat box and I'm going to again suffer in the sweat box. So let's just go. Alright, sweat check. Almost halfway through. Six out of ten. Alright, switch to the elliptical halfway. Looks like I can feel my Achilles on that one, but oh, we're sweating now. Oh we've got 20% left. Right, 80% of the way through. Guys, everyone gets to 80% and then they, they slack off, they slow down. No, the last 20% is where the gain is. It's where the gain is, come on. Let's push. Heart is pumping now. Okay, just got kicked out of the gym. So we gotta go over there. Just finish the workout, sweat check. 10 out of 10. See ya. I'm not gonna lie, guys. That was a tough one, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, look, guys, I can tell you, most days, most days probably, I don't really feel like working out. That might sound like a little bit crazy, like what, are you, you don't feel like working out, Nick? What do you mean, you're working out every day? Yeah, most days I don't feel like going out and to the gym and then like painfully doing stuff, painfully pushing myself. I don't, I don't, I don't wake up thinking, wow, I can't wait to push myself, no. It's not like that, but, but, 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of doing exercise, I'm like, yes, I know why I came. I know why I came to do this thing right here. And that's why you guys need to give yourself the 10 minute rule. It's hard for the first 10 minutes, then it gets easier, okay? So just remember that. For you guys who are just on the couch right now, or you're at home, or whatever, on the bed, watching this, and you're, you know you're procrastinating, you know you're procrastinating by watching me. 10 minutes, guys. That's all you need. 10 minutes, jog, walk, whatever it is you need to do. Lift a weight, whatever, do a plank, do some planks. You'll feel good. I uh, don't really have an awful lot that I wanted to share with you today. As I explained yesterday, I'm recovering from this injury and it's a little bit of a slow process right now. And that's fine. We are doing what we can. That's, that's all you can do when you got an injury. You just gotta be patient. You can't rush the process. Today's been one of those days where I know that I didn't spend the first half of the day effectively. As I told you, Speed has been doing these live streams. I got distracted, man. I'm not gonna lie, I got distracted by Speed. I show Speed. Bro, we gotta to train together, we gotta to do something. I'm in Europe too, I'm in Europe too. <laughs> Following on from that 10 minute rule, there's a second rule I wanna share with you guys, and that's the rule of thirds. And the rule of thirds is basically, you'll have a good day, an okay day, and a crappy day. And the rule of thirds is basically the athlete's journey. Anyone who's striving to get better, because they're always pushing themselves, you're gonna feel good one third of the time, and you're gonna feel okay or crappy two thirds of the time. That's just how it is. And the reason being, when you're challenging yourself, when you're pushing yourself with training, with recovery, with working out, with competition, with um, maybe you've got issues all around you, you've got to still focus on that thing that you're striving for with your athletics or your performance. This 
is what makes it really challenging and why you're not feeling 100% all the time. Heck, you're not feeling 100% 70% of the time because the rule of thirds states that you only feel good a third of the time. And of course, the percentage is adjusted. This is just a kind of like a, 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 what do you call it? Not a philosophy, but just like a, a way of being as an athlete, as a pro athlete, uh, or someone that's aspiring, trying to go for something. Um, that's just how it is. And so just embrace that guys, all right? Today, you may not be feeling good because I wasn't feeling good. Uh, you might be feeling lethargic. Hey, that's normal. What's important though, is still the discipline. What's important though, is still you make it to the gym or make it to the pitch or spend 30 minutes or an hour on what it, what it is that you wanna achieve every single day. You could waste 20 hours a day, but if you spend four hours of it, right? Hey, you're still probably gonna have a good day. And the third rule is the 10,000 hour rule. 10,000 hour rule states that if you practice deliberately for 10 years, 20 hours a week, you will become a world-class performer in your field, whether it's football, whether it's chess, whether it's music, whatever it is that you want to do, whether it's you want to be a professional cyclist, doesn't matter. If you're practicing deliberately, meaning you're doing challenging practice or play for 10,000 hours, that is the magic number which it takes for you to become world-class. This rule is hotly debated. You will find arguments for, you will find arguments against. And what you guys should take away from this is that to be successful it takes a lot of years of hard work and dedication and challenging yourself every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year, every single half decade, every single decade. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. And so really with the three things that I'm saying is in the ultra micro, 10 minutes. Get your 10 minutes in, just jog, kick the ball, juggle, 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes is all it takes. Secondly, the rule of thirds. You're gonna feel crappy most of the time, but you gotta get it in. You, and third with the 10,000 hour rule in the ultra long term, guys, be patient, be patient. You have one bad game, you have one bad week of training, you have one, two months where you get injured. Success is not defined over one month or two months or a year. It's defined over a long period. This is what this journey is all about. This is 100 days to pro. What are we doing? We're challenging ourselves. So keep these three rules in mind. Put it in your notes right now. Speaking of things that you don't want to do, I just had to go all the way up that damn hill on this manual heavy bike. Look at this. So there's a manual heavy bike right now. These public public bikes. It's a Boris bike, bro. Boris bike. Gotta go up that hill thingy. Anyway, dude. Point is, I didn't want to do it. Hey, hey, we got it done. I wouldn't have it any other way. And with that guys, it's a, it's a quick wrap, quick wrap for day 36 of the 100 day challenge. Coming to you live and direct from Switzerland. And guys, big things are gonna happen. Just stay patient and comment. What is that trigger for you? What's that thing that gets you to do the workout? Let me know, I wanna know. What's that little cue that you give to yourself? That little spark of motivation. I wanna know what it is. Let me know. I'm gonna be reading every single content. Motivate me, I'll motivate you, we'll motivate each other. Effective family, let's go. See you tomorrow.